At Xbox, we have a controller design that our fans love. However, for gamers with limited mobility or gamers who don't use both their hands, this controller design might not work best for them. Oh, I pushed you out of the way, I'm sorry. <laughs> Doorknobs are the worst thing ever invented. Putting on shoes, the cell phones that I use, these are the sorts of things that we don't think about until we have to, and I think about them every day. Yeah! I have cerebral palsy on my entire right side. This side of the controller is fine, this side doesn't happen. As game platforms have gotten more sophisticated, the controllers have gotten more sophisticated, and it started to get really frustrating. We designed the Xbox Adaptive Controller through feedback from the accessibility community. <laughs> the Xbox Adaptive Controller is really easy. You just plug it in, and then you can plug in various other devices I can make it work for me the way it has to. With the Xbox Adaptive Controller, a gamer can game with one hand and one foot, or one hand and their shoulder, or even one foot and their chin. And I can change it from game to game. <laughs> Good, ready? Forward, squeeze tall, there it is. Craig Hospital is a facility for patients who've either had a spinal cord injury or a traumatic brain injury, and it's a place for their rehab. Yes. We're here for game night and we're helping new patients uh, getting back into gaming again. Is that the D-pad? Yeah. Okay. Our role as occupational therapists is to get people back to doing. When the Xbox adaptive controller came along, it acted like an Xbox controller and it just worked. Uh-oh. Over there. <laughs> Ooh. On the standard Xbox controller, it's just hard to press the buttons because I can't really put pressure through my hands. But then with the adaptive controller, I can use like larger joysticks, larger buttons that are easier to press and reach. Corey and his brother Zachary are twins. Before Corey's injury, Zachary had gamed with him regularly, and that was a way that they related to each other as siblings. Who do you love playing Xbox with here at Craig Hospital? Zach. The Xbox Adaptive Controller and the Co-Pilot feature allowed them again to play games together. So there's a huge social component to it. You got that. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. They can play any game that they want. I see the confidence just burst out of them.